You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Marsh versus Belding and Belding. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. Good day. Good day. Ms. Marsh, you claim your ex, Mr. Belding, and his mother have made false accusations about the paternity of your three-year-old daughter, Jordan. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Belding, you're here with your mother. Do you claim little Jordan's biological father may be your own father? Yes, Your Honor. Whoa. Uh, so you've also petitioned the court for a lie detector test for Ms. Marsh to determine the extent of her relationship with your dad. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Belding's father will also be joining us to respond to that accusation in just a few moments. So, Mr. Belding. Yes, Your Honor. Your own father. Yes, Please Your explain. Honor. He, uh, we were living in Georgia, then he moved back to Indiana and got a room or he shared a room with Amber. He had nowhere to go, so I took him in. Excuse me, Your Honor, but his uh, sister lives there. He has numerous friends in Indiana. His sister would not I live, live there. With her He's at a, all. He works. He could have lived other places than with her. He's lived with her off and on for the past three years. It was really? with, it, yes. Excuse me, Your Honor, it was with me and my mom, as a matter of fact, and he slept in a totally different room. It was a three bedroom house. We that never was slept the first in the house. Same room. Yeah. And there, we, there's we've been always several. had more than three rooms. Okay, but I have to ask, Miss Marsh. Out of all the places you could live? <clears throat> he had nowhere to go. Literally, mm -hmm. I asked his sister, and his sister said, no, I'm not going to let so, a man Bell. I call my dad <clears throat> stay on the streets. What other reason do you have to believe that Ms. Marsh was possibly sleeping with your father, or you're not the biological father of her child? Just when I moved back to Indiana, there was a bunch of my friends that had said she had slept with them no, after she had me. slept with excuse me. Excuse me, Your Honor. Excuse no, me, too, Your Honor. She's that's already had it. one man tested before Zach. I didn't have him tested. He had her tested. I told him not because to Because she it. told us that it was a I possibility have, to begin with. I have with. all the proof of that. I know who the father of my daughter is and it is this man right here. But she thinks Zach's the dad, but he can't do nothing with her. He's not allowed. And yes, she did let me in one time to see Jordan. Three times. But any other times, she slammed the door in my face. Except for the night you spent the night and you had sex with her, which was just two months ago, yeah. Your we Honor. We didn't have sex. Your so for them to the be together bed, for Honor. a year, she must be sleeping around, is all I've got to say. No, no. He all came right. over with his friend Why and he was drunk. Why do you doubt that your son is her child's father when you know your son was in a relationship yes, with her? Why do you have so many doubts? She gave us the doubt because she told us very plainly she came back to Indiana to give birth to Jordan. She had Excuse another me, man. I never said she, that. Can I, can I finish? I she had another that. man there while the baby was being delivered. No, there, there was, was no her fiancé at the time. There was no one else in the room except for my mother. And, and her course, boyfriend, fiancé at the time. I'm sorry that you're... you're uh, was your there a man at the up? hospital, Ms. Marsh, that claimed to be your fiancé when no, you were having the baby? No, he's he lying. No, he did not claim to be, be my fiancé at all. I would never, ever give it that she, man. She already said he's going to be the dad. I'm going to sign the birth certificate. We were all there when it happened. Because he was around for nine and a half months. He ch no, there's been three other men that I know there's of, and no I haven't man. been around her for two years. There's been no men. She will call me out of the blues. Hey, can I, you keep Jordan? I, She'll bring her. I changed my two number diapers. for her not to call me. I thought I you just said an that... hour and a half a away so they something. would stop harassing me. She just said that she that her Zach they didn't want to see her. Now we harass her. She needs to get her story straight, Your Honor. Trash. If she thinks I'm the father, why did she have another man sign the birth certificate? Excuse me, ma'am. I have the birth certificate. I have the birth certificate right here. Her certificate's right here, and there is no other man. Okay, on this can birth I say it's because she lies to us all the time? Well, we don't let know me what see to that believe. Birth certificate. There's no okay. other man. Okay, because she's on this such a liar. While I'm, while I'm looking at this birth certificate. Yes, ma'am. You all got to make me understand this. Now, you all met in high school? 14 years old. At 14? Yes. So you all were in a relationship, boyfriend and girlfriend? No, not yes. really. Off, off and on. So it was off and on for Just years. A sexual thing. But during this time, you were together. That's when you got pregnant. Yeah. No. It was after I had I had moved to Georgia to live with him and his dad to and join now, the military. That was totally a surprise too. I didn't know she was her, coming. Her dad, my, his my dad, dad did that. Zachary had Zachary didn't want nothing to do with her. His dad sent for her down there. It's funny because I still have messages on my mom's phone from him saying, "Baby, I can't wait till you get here." You got those. So evidence? now, Mr. Belding, that's another reason why you think your father 
he had her come was down there. possibly sleeping with her too because he's the one that decided yeah. to have her come down. Yes. Yeah. And, and then, the and then right. he left Zachary in Georgia by himself, came up here and moved in with her and just left Zach. Because he had nowhere to go. Nowhere. I'm not the kind of woman to let a man stay on the streets. We just gave a homeless man a sandwich not even a day ago. <laughs> Mr. Belding, another man in your mind, sign the birth certificate. I have it right here. Let me yeah, see. Yeah, this is what I was told. I didn't. I didn't see a picture. Because he believes everything his mommy says. Because he's a mommy's boy. No, there is. <laughs> there's no <clears throat> person listed as father on the birth certificate. That's because she lies to us about everything. But there was a man. No, who he, introduced you to she, him? Well, she did. She's hallucinating because she was drunk when she showed up to the delivery room. That's a lie. <laughs> Your Honor, that's not what happened. Yes, that's that a is total what happened. Lie. I, I walked the hospital with her she was drunk. for you six the hours. Her we'll she find was out with drunk. the lie detector because she's a liar. Mr. Belding, you don't think you're Jordan's biological father, and you really think your dad is. I wouldn't think my dad would do something like that. But if he was drunk, and she, they were living together, obviously, and she walks around the house half naked. I never walked and my around dad, the house half naked. I've, 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 I've had to tell her to put clothes on when she was 14 years old, and I went to the trailer to visit him, and she was running from one end to the other with a no. towel on, and I said, there's a room full of men out there, little, little girl, you get some clothes on. If you want more episodes of Paternity Court, make sure to subscribe and click on the notification bell. Did your father ever say anything to you about them having a relationship? Oh, he's told me they slept in the bed together multiple times. Well, hold on. So, Miss Marsh... Multiple times. You said it was different rooms in your testimony early. Yes. In my three-bedroom apartment, it was different rooms. And then when we lived at my mom's, I worked third shift and he worked first. We slept in the same bed, but not together. See, now, see, not see together. who's lying? See how the story changes? So, wait changes? a minute. So, wait, wait, wait. Your story... Our story isn't changing like hers. Your story Your is changing a bit. At first, we slept in different rooms. But do you think it's appropriate didn't. for you to be sharing a bed on any level? Well, we don't sleep in the same room. But we didn't sleep Your in the Honor, same room. Why would I have sex with somebody? I called my dad. Why would the you share a bed with I've him? The only man I've ever called the dad. Why would you share a bed with him? This is a lot to take in. I'm still not processing that you are sharing a bed with <clears throat> Mr. Belding's father on any level, but you know what? I'm ready to talk to your father. Hello, how are you? We are here trying to figure out what in the world is going on. Did you ever share a bed with Ms. Marsh? Kind of. I mean, the schedules between her mother's schedule, my schedule, and Amber's schedule, there was always someone there to take care of the baby. So, how do you feel if your son is accusing you of being the father of Ms. Marsh's daughter? It's, it's a little uh, frustrating. Um, I feel kind of demeaned by it, and I have never, ever laid a finger on Amber Marsh. Thank you. And I would never lay a finger on him. That is my dad. That is gross. Granted, he's a very handsome man for being 47. Well, years sir, old. your son, he's concerned that you're the person that invited her to live with you. When you guys went to live in another state, he says you arranged for her to come with you guys. Is that true? No. <sighs> he's lying. My grandma paid for me to go there because she knew how much Zach meant to me. Now he means nothing. When you stay out of a daughter's life for three years, you only come over three times, and the one time you do that's come over, you. that's a lie too, Your Honor. She dropped her off to me three times. The baby didn't even know me, and she just. But dropped that's her not my fault. You never her. call or ask about her. Uh, really? I thought you just said I harassed you so much you had you to move. You do harass but now me. I don't call. All right. So the court has administered lie detector tests, yes, and we will have those results a little later on. To the bottom of these questions that I can't seem to get answers to. Thank you. Miss Marsh, I want to hear about who's helping you with Jordan. He's the three years old. You're claiming he has come by three times. Yes. How have you been this doing this? man right oh. here. Is this is your witness? And my mom. Please stand, Wait. sir. Step to the podium. Your name is? Tyson Hall. And you are Ms. Marsh's boyfriend. Boyfriend. And you've been helping her raise Jordan? Every day. Every day. Every single day. Good job. I'm daddy. How long 
long has he been with her? Two Your weeks, Honor? three weeks. Because no. Zach just had sex with her over six, less than 60 days ago. That's spent a the lie. night with her oh, baby, and that's everything. Lie. Came sure to did. see her again, and he said he is yeah, not he, to see her, and, and she slammed there. the door in Zach's face. So he probably he thinks that he can say when Zach can see this baby and when he can't. I'm trying to understand. So, <laughs> Miss Marsh, you're saying Mr. Hull is your boyfriend now? Yes, ma'am. And you did not cheat with Mr. Belding no. less than 60 days ago? No. No, Your Honor. That's a lie. We never had sex. His I, best I get, friend was get... in the same bed. Drake. You were in the bed with him? <sighs> yes. And oh, your but it was, was not on two the months floor. Ago. Yeah, it was. It was, it was less ago, than two months ago, Your Honor. No, it was When not. was this? It was way before me and him got together. We and were... you two been together how long? Four, Four months. months. Four, Four months, months he's been a dad to a three-year-old. So, Mr. Holt, please tell me about the relationship you built with Jordan. It's just an everyday thing. I mean, you got to be a dad to do everything. You know what I mean? You got to get a job, take care of the baby, play with her. I play every day with her. Good job. You, Good job. Good job. Take her to the party. Job. you won't be around long, neither. She goes through men like you go through I'm toilet sure. paper, honey. Yep. You can ask have... Matt Belding. He's he lived... can testify that she's her. a hoe. Oh, hold on, Miss. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'm sorry. Let's I'm watch sorry. our language and let's be respectful yes, in the courtroom. That's something she don't know how to do. All right. We'll see who the dad is. I'll always be the father. No, he won't. Every single day. We'll see these DNA results. We'll see Every the DNA single results. Day. We'll see the DNA results. I don't care what the problem is, I'll always take it. Yeah, well, she, call the police on you for kidnapping. He won't be because she goes through him like toilet Every paper. Sorry, worried about what he has to say. We'll see who's the father. And so, what are you feeling like, Mr. Belding? You're, you, do you feel like you've been shut out? I'm upset because this guy, two months out of nowhere, thinks he's the father of what could be my baby. What could be I your where, baby? We where have you been? Hold we want to know. It where have you been? I was just there two months ago with her. That's what you he keep saying. He was just with her less than 60 me, days ago. Like she said, she moved That's without what you telling keep saying, me. Though. It was four months ago, and he showed it up drunk. It wasn't four months ago. Okay. Was you slept in the older. bed with him? Oh, thank you. Well, yeah, of course. I'm not going to let you know. No, no. Hold on, because I'm tired of this story about how you take everybody in and everybody needs a bed, so I Thank just share you. mine. No, it doesn't work like that. That's right. Let's, let's, let's really be honest here. You admit that you shared a bed with him that evening, even though the friend was on the floor, right? Yes, and it was not, we were not together. This was nothing. Wherever he's been or whatever's going on between you all, within the last several months, you two have slept in the same bed, yes. had contact, yes. been close enough to where he even got in the house and got in the bed. Well, yes, you're right. Yes. Right. I wanted him there, and I, I had him sleep in the bed because I wanted him there. I want him to be a dad. But he's not. He's not calling. He's not showing. She I just slept in the bed. Maybe, maybe, no. maybe he would stay if he, he slept in the bed with me. I and he left that morning, 8 o'clock in the morning. To go to work. To, no, to not go anywhere. Because he was, he was hung over. <clears throat> the only reason why he came over because he was hung over. Now we're getting to the truth now. So, when you had him come over... No, he came no. over by himself. He knocked on my window. Like I do all the in time the to go see her. In the middle of the night. Like he tries and to she slams the door in my face. Just went there last week to see her. Moved like, without how, telling me nothing. Last week? Last week moved. You I don't even know where we live. Not anymore. Just I just said, said that. Listen. You listen. He, moved, he was there last week. We moved four, three or four months ago. So how can he be there in the last week? I, he did. So you just said he came to where he thought you lived, but you were gone and you moved without telling Yeah, because we moved because they're harassing us. And they didn't tell... She didn't... Can I just say, she keeps saying that we don't try to see the baby, and then she says we harass her. Trust me, I hear it. Okay. Look, Thank you, Your can Honor. Can we just do a lie detector test and do DNA test? Oh, I can go home and get my baby. I... Yeah, because we're getting our baby. You ain't getting nothing, honey. You guys. He didn't see her the first two years she was alive. Okay, everybody. Over. Okay, well, the story on I'm that is... I'm done now. Okay, that's fine. I'm done. Okay. I don't have a problem with a man that has enough heart to love a right. child. Absolutely. That is Absolutely. Doesn't have Absolutely. Absolutely. That's a beautiful thing. That's great. But great. you all tell two completely different stories. Yes. Thank goodness for DNA and Amen. a lie detector test. So let's get this done. First, we're going to do the DNA results. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics and they read as follows. Do you want to watch Paternity Court on TV? Go to paternitycourt.tv to find your local listings. In the case of Marsh versus Belding, Belding, pertaining to whether Mr. Belding Sr. 
or Mr. Belding Jr. is the father of three-year-old Jordan Marsh. Mr. Belding Sr. You are not Jordan's father. Thank you. I already knew that. Thank you. Mr. Belding Jr. You are her father. Thank you. That, that's my baby. That's our baby. That's my baby. Not yours. You think so? Mine. You think Stay so? Right here. Mine. Stay right you think here. so? I got rights now. Yes, you do, sir. Oh, yeah. Before we go, you were very concerned and wanted to know the level of intimacy was shared by Ms. Marsh and your father, Mr. Belding Sr. That concerned you. Of course it did. I have yes, the lie detector results right here. Are you ready? Oh, yes. yes. The question read as follows. Ms. Marsh, you were asked, have you ever had sexual intercourse with your ex-boyfriend's father, Mr. Belding Sr.? You said no. And the lie detector determined that is the truth. There you go, buddy. I told you. So, you know now. Yep. That they haven't had any sexual activities yet. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And so you can put that to rest, too. Yeah, but I'm still disgusted that they shared a bed together. I'm disgusted, too. Thank but you know what? That doesn't have anything to nope. do with Jordan. Right. Nope. And now, let's focus on her. Yep. Yes, Your I Honor. wish you all the best of Thank luck. Thank you so much. Take care of that beautiful little girl. We'll try. Court is adjourned. What Judge Lake had to say was very, very appropriate and very, very, very honorable. I love that she said that he needs to step up. It is time for him to step up. When I heard the results, I was kind of shocked at first, but now I'm ready to step up. I've been ready, been going there. And uh, as far as... Uh, Judge Lake's decisions. She was a great person. I had a great time.